Hello everyone, this is Subhash. Welcome to Social Studies. In today's video, we are going to learn that means we will continue the chapter, the last fourth chapter that is climate of India. And already we discussed about what is weather, what is climate, and what are the elements of the weather and climate, and what are the climatic controls. So already I told you weather changes day to day and also the weather it's a different it's a different from region to another region the weather changes day to day and also the weather different weather is different from one region to another region but here climate cannot change day to day and also it is not different from one region to another region that means climate will be the same across the India for example weather it was uh, yesterday the weather it was rainy but now today the weather is nice and sunny that means the weather changes day to day okay and uh, now let's move to the seasons so the Indian seasons divided into three so here one is winter summer and rainy so rainy again divided into two advanced monsoon and retreating monsoon so let's let's first discuss about winter so the Indian landmass intensity of the temperature decreases gradually that means the temperature comes down slowly when by the November so here the winter season starts from mid November and it continues till February so we have to know let's find out the temperature what is the temperature during the winter season in India so here India lies the northern hemisphere understand India lies trade wind belt of northern hemisphere okay this is the northern hemisphere and this is the southern hemisphere okay so here the 23 and of northern latitude it's called Tropic of Cancer 23 and of northern latitude it's called Tropic of Cancer though so the Tropic of Cancer divides the India into two parts. One is northern part of India, southern part of India. So during the winter, we can see the temperatures here. Too much high temperature. That means too much high or too much low temperature in the northern part. But southern part, we can see here the moderate temperature. That means equable climate. During the winter in the northern part especially the temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius but in southern part not less than 20 degrees Celsius because it has a coastal area southern part has a coastal area but here it has not a coastal area the northern part so that's why here we can see too high temperature or too low temperature okay so in the northern part here we can see that means the cyclone depressions during the winter we can see here especially in the northern part cyclone depressions cyclone depressions comes from mediterranean sea here we can you can we can see here the mediterranean sea so cyclone depressions comes from mediterranean sea that means from the west direction so that's why here we called western disturbances so here the cyclones due to the cyclone this region receives some amount of rain, rainfall so this rainfall useful for wheat crops especially in rabi season wheat crop okay so this is the brief information about winter season and uh, here in the winter season especially that means usually January is the coldest month during the winter season okay so now let's move on to the summer summer is the hottest season 
it starts from March till it continues till May okay so the hottest month during the summer months here the May is the hottest month in summer so here also we can see the temperature the northern part this is highest temperature here the temperature registered highest temperature or lowest temperature but here the southern part we can see the moderate temperature that means equable climate not too high not too low it's called equable climate that means this southern part maintains equable climate or moderate climate so in the summer the north region the northern part receives highest temperature that means sometimes it goes up 41 or 42 degrees celsius but here moderate temperature not too high not too low okay so in the northern part especially in the summer season the northern part especially the central the central part of india or the northern plains here we can see the hot and dry winds so the hot and dry winds are called loo so due to loo winds especially Deccan plateau so this is the Deccan plateau receives the light fall of rain so this light fall of rain is called mango showers so the mango showers that means the light fall of rain is very useful for ripening mangoes or other plantation crops so that's why here the locally the light fall of rainfall is called lu or mango showers especially in telangana and other pradesh in locally we called mango showers because they are useful for ripening mangoes or other plantation crabs okay it is the summer season so we can see the highest temperature in northern part of india the moderate temperature in the southern part of india because it has a coastal area okay and uh, now let's move on to rainy so generally the climate of india strongly influenced by the monsoon here monsoon means the monsoon word comes from arabic word so monsoon means here masam masam means arabic word masam masam means season so in olden days the arabian sailors who came to india they named it the river solvent system masam because they used to travel on boats or ships in olden days there is no modern facilities to travel so that's why they used to boat or ships to travel across the country so that's why the base the travel based on the river solvent system so that's why the arabian sailors named it masam means season so here we can see the southwest monsoon here rainy divided into two advanced monsoon or retreating monsoon so advanced monsoon is known as southwest monsoon because at the end of the summer the rainy starts after the summer you know well okay so during the that means the end of the summer the low pressure conditions occur in the central india and the tibetan place here tibetan place so that's why the high pressure winds from the indian ocean high pressure winds starts to travel starts to reach the low pressure wind the low pressure areas that means generally the winds travel from high pressure to low pressure low pressure so here when the occur low pressure here low pressure condition here especially in the central india and the tibetan place so the high pressure winds travel to reach the low pressure area so while crossing the southwest monsoon winds that touches first kanyakumari southeast monsoon touches fort first kanyakumari and then the south east southwest monsoon winds divided into two branches one is arabian branch and another one is bay of bengal branch so arabian branch touches the west coast and it moves towards the north okay 
and then Bay of Bengal branch touches the West Bengal coast and it moves towards the northeast. Then after this southwest monsoon spread over entire the country and then the India receives the highest rainfall due to southwest monsoon. Okay, here because here the low present conditions occurred here in the central area and Tibetan place. So that's why the high pressure winds travel over the India to reach the low pressure. So that's why the Indian region, the India, the India receives the highest amount of rainfall due to the southwest monsoon. Okay. And in the month of October and November, the southwest monsoon returns. That means withdrawal of the southwest monsoon is called retreating monsoon or northeast monsoon. Understand? The southwest monsoon winds travel and reach the low pressure area. So then after the return, the southwest monsoon winds returns. So withdrawal of the southwest monsoon is called retreating monsoon or northeast monsoon. So the retreating monsoon while traveling over India, the retreating monsoon or northeast monsoon while traveling over India. So here the Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu state receives some amount of rainfall especially Coromandel coast. So Tamil Nadu coastal, Tamil Nadu coast is called Coromandel coast. So here the Coromandel coast or Tamil Nadu state receives some amount of rainfall due to the northeastern winds, northeast monsoon or retreating monsoon. Okay, so here we can see especially in the end of the year, that means October or November, we can see the cyclones and especially in Tamil Nadu because of retreating monsoon, cyclones and floods due to the retreating monsoon. Why the retreating monsoon travel towards the south? Because the end of the November or December here, especially in Bay of Bengal here occurred low pressure condition. Okay, before the rainy season, at the end of the summer, the low pressure occurred in this place due to the heat, due to the heat, due to the summer. So then after in October or November or the ending of the November, so we can see the low pressure, low pressure conditions changed here. That means low pressure conditions occurred here in the Bay of Bengal, the southernmost point Bay of Bengal. So that's why the high pressure winds try to reach the low pressure wind. That means they had to travel over the India to reach the low pressure winds. Already told you the winds travel usually the winds travel from high pressure to low pressure. So before the rainy season the low pressure conditions occur at the central India and the Tibetan place and the end of the winter season the low pressure conditions occur in the Bengal at the southernmost point of the Bengal. So that's why the retreating monsoon winds traveling over India to reach the low pressure areas. So okay. So we will stop here. This topic we will stop here and uh, the rest of the topic we will continue in the next video. Until then, bye.